Hello everyone, this is Dr. Paramjot. Today I'm going to discuss management of open bite. Open bite in orthodontics is a malocclusion of vertical plane as if deep bite also. It is one of the most difficult malocclusion to treat. The complexity of malocclusion is due to combination of skeletal, functional and habit related factors. According to Graeber, it's the condition where a space exists between the occlusal and incisal surfaces of maxillary and mandibular teeth in posterior or anterior segments when the mandible is brought into habitual or centric occlusion. It means there is no vertical overlapping of upper and lower teeth. That is open bite. Now problems associated with open bite are First is difficulty in speech, also known as dysphonia. As there is no vertical overlapping of teeth, lisping sound is there. Second is TMJ disorder. This is why because occlusion is not balanced on one or both the sides. Third is functional imbalance. It is like as extraoral and intraoral forces are not balanced. That is lips and cheeks from outside and tongue from inside. Bad aesthetics as the patient is having a long face, absence of lip seal or incompetent lips. Fifth is alteration of incisor guidance as there is no vertical over overlapping so no incisor guidance is there. Reduction of normal functional activity. There is a chief complaint of these kind of patients is difficulty in incising the food. Now come, coming to classification, according to Moyers, it is of two types, dental, dental open bite and skeletal open bite. Based on location, it is divided into two, anterior open bite and posterior open bite. First of all, dental open bite. In this, it is due to supra eruption of posterior teeth or Infra eruption or infra occlusion of incisors. Skeletal orientation of jaws are absolutely normal in dental open bite. It varies with growth pattern of individual. As we know, three types of growth patterns are there. One is average or neutral, or also considered as normal. Second is vertical, and third one is horizontal. Now, what is the difference between all of all of uh, these three? In normal growth pattern, the FMA angle is 25 degrees. FMA angle is formed between Frankfurt horizontal plane and mandibular plane. This angle is 25 degrees in normal individuals. But if this angle is increased, if it is more than 25 degrees, it is known as vertical growth pattern. But if this angle is reduced less than 25 degrees, it is known as horizontal growth pattern. Now in patients with vertical growth pattern, there is proclination of upper incisors and retroclination of lower incisors with over eruption of posterior teeth also. In patients with horizontal growth pattern, there is both proclination of upper and lower incisors. So this is the difference between growth patterns of uh, open bite. In vertical growth pattern, there is There is proclination of upper incisors only and retroclination of lower incisors. In horizontal growth pattern, there is proclination of both upper and lower incisors. Now, various forms of anterior open bite. First is pseudo open bite or pseudo open bite, in which over jet combined with over bite of less than 1 mm. In simple open bite, if more than 1 mm of space is observed between incisors with posterior teeth in occlusion. In pseudo open bite, the bite was less than 1 mm. In simple open bite, bite is, uh, the open bite is more than 1 mm with posterior teeth in occlusion. In complex open bite, it extends to premolars or sometimes to deciduous molars. And in compound or infantile open bite, 
it is completely open including the molars in heterogenic open bite it's a consequence of faulty biomechanics that that may be used during orthodontic treatment these are the various forms of anterior open bite posterior open bite as per name it is present in the posterior segment of the oral cavity it may be due to uh, macroglossia that is large tongue or habits like tongue thrust lateral tongue thrust tongue thrust coming to skeletal open bite it is due to unproportionate jaw growth mainly in the maxilla maxillary growth in the posterior region is more as compared to anterior region now this is the maxilla this is posterior limit of the maxilla and this is anterior limit of the maxilla here the vertical growth of maxilla in the posterior region is more that's why there is a tipping in the downward direction and growth in the anterior direction anterior vertical maxillary growth is less that's why the upper incisors are giving a look of intrusion intrusion so posterior maxillary vertical growth is more as compared to anterior vertical maxillary growth leading to skeletal open bite now differences between skeletal open bite and uh, dental open bite first skeletal open bite it is a result of increased downward and backward inclination of mandible here the mandible is rotated in a clockwise direction rotated in a clockwise direction in dental open bite it is a result of under development anteriorly of maxillary and mandibular dento alveolar processes in skeletal open bite excessive vertical growth of dento alveolar uh, complex especially in posterior molar region as i have already discussed in dento dental open bite it is primarily due to reduced incisor dento alveolar vertical height in skeletal open bite it has occlusal contacts only at molar level with both occlusal planes diverging anteriorly now this is the important point the difference between the two we want to uh, judge it clinically in dental open bite it has occlusal contacts at premolar and molar region with occlusal plane diverge from first premolar anteriorly so clinically we can diagnose whether the patient is having a skeletal or dental open bite in dental open bite premolar and molars they are in occlusion in skeletal open bite only molars are in contact when the patient is occluding so this was a cephalo a cephalogram of skeletal open bite and this is the dental open bite here you can see only the molars are in contact during occlusion but here up to premolars occlusion is there after there is a open bite so intraoral photographs of skeletal open bite only molars are in occlusion and rest all the teeth anterior to molars they are out of occlusion in dental open bite up to premolars occlusion is there after that there is a open bite in the anterior region so this is the difference between clinically between skeletal open bite and dental open bite coming to etiology it is multifactorial first is hereditary second environmental factors under which comes thumb sucking or finger sucking abnormal tongue function airway obstruction atrogenic trauma orofacial muscular dysfunction first of all hereditary the patient may have a long and narrow face second divergent cephalometric planes all planes whether cranial this is cranial plane maxillary plane occlusal plane mandible plane they are all divergent third steep anterior cranial base this is the cranial base it runs from nasion to basion in normal patients it is comparatively flatter but here it is steep in case of skeletal open bite downward and forward rotation of mandible as i have told you earlier there is a clockwise rotation of mandible in case of open bite increased lower anterior facial height lower anterior facial height is increased due to chin going downwards this is lower anterior facial height this is 
point A and S, anterior nasal spine. From anterior nasal spine to gonion, it designates lower anterior facial height. So it is increased in case of open bite. Decreased upper anterior facial height. Increased anterior and decreased posterior facial height. Steep mandibular plane angle because the patients are always towards the vertical growth pattern in cases of open bite. Small mandibular body and ramus are seen in case of open bite. And second is thumb sucking, the second etiology. In younger children, digit habits and pacifiers are the main cause. In mixed dentition, some open bites are attributable to continuing habits, whereas others are related to skeletal open bite. In adolescent and adults, it is difficult to assign a single causation. Then coming to tongue posture. According to Prophet, if a patient has a forward thrusting posture of the tongue, the duration of this pressure, even if very light, could affect tooth position vertically as well as horizontally. Habits like tongue thrust or large tongue, that is macroglossia, may lead to open bite. Next etiological factor, airway obstruction. In the presence of some nasal obstruction, the airflow is impaired or obstructed and the child begins to breathe through the mouth. Airway permeability requiring advanced tongue. Tongue posture is lowered and mandible is also rotated downward and backward, leading to the tongue to thrust and finally open bite in the anterior region. Then coming to atrogenic factors, as we have already discussed in the previous slides, it could be due to wrong biomechanics used during orthodontic treatment. Secondly, if the patient is not cooperating during treatment for wearing auxiliaries like elastics that we give to the patient during the course of treatment. Next is trauma. If patient has some accident on the condylar or ramal region on one or both the sides, it may lead to open bite. The last one, etiological factor, orofacial muscular dysfunction. In a normal occlusion, there is a balanced relationship among the oral structures, basal bones, teeth, and intraoral and external musculature. The teeth are in a balanced position, receiving opposing forces arising internally by the tongue and externally by the lips and cheeks. Here, lips and cheeks, they are applying a inward forces onto the teeth. To counteract tongue from inside gives an outward force. If the forces on both sides they are balanced, it will lead to normal development of the dental arches. But if the forces are disturbed from either side, it leads to malocclusion. In case of open bite, tongue forces are more. That's why it leads to an open bite and in turn tongue thrust habit, mouth breathing habit and finally clinically we see an open bite case. Clinical features. First is hyperdivergent face, that is long face, as you can see in the pic. Vertical growth pattern, that is FMA angle is more than 25 degrees. No contact of teeth in anterior region. Retruded mandible and short ramus. More eruption of posterior teeth. Clockwise rotation of mandible. Increased gonial angle. Now what is gonial angle? Gonial angle is the angle formed between the border of ramus, outer border of ramus and lower border of the mandible. This angle is known as gonial angle. It is increased. Open mouth posture, proclination of upper incisors and retroclination of lower incisors. Lip incompetency is there, forward tongue posture and finally defective speech. So these are clinical features of patient with open bite. Now the treatment options for treating, uh, treating open bite patients. First is removal appliances. Removal appliances we can give in a patient with primary dentition or early mixed dentition. If the patient is having habits like thumb sucking, tongue thrusting, mouth breathing, we can give habit breaking appliances like parietal crib, rakes, oral screen. 
and if the patient is having a skeletal open bite in a growing age, we can give appliances like myofunctional appliances, orthopedic appliances, or we can also combine both the two, myofunctional as well as orthopedic appliances. Myofunctional appliances that we can give are activator, bionator, Frankel function regulator, twin block, and in orthopedic appliances, we can give specifically, specifically high pull headgear. Now, if the growth is over, then we are left with camouflage treatment that is done with fixed orthodontic appliance. Options are extractions, multi loop edge wise arch wire. This is one of the design for uh, orthodontic arch wires. Mini screws, also known as mini implants, mini plates. Now, if the growth is over and the patient is having a skeletal open bite, we can go with orthognathic surgical procedures in which orthodontics combined with surgery and in some cases like in cases of macroglossia, glossectomies are also performed in some patients. So these are the all treatment options for treating a patient with open bite. So this is all about management of open bite. Thank you.